You know, I've had this saying for a while, and at this point it's really just become like a mantra of mine, and nobody really understands it. I kind of say it half jokingly when I first came up with it. Uh, it was actually, I was out on a date with this girl, and we were just talking, we were having this really long in-depth conversation, thought-provoking conversation about uh, our past trauma and past experiences, and we had remarkably similar experiences and just kind of ways that we adapted to life and reacted to things and it was just incredible to share that experience and I just came up with that expression I have no idea where it came, came from just like yeah trauma is like it's the spice of life you know we mess with trauma it adds excitement and like at the time I was saying that half jokingly but over the years I've come to understand that like I, I really meant that I really meant that because it was trauma is just it's something that we look at with such a negative connotation and I mean in a lot of instances rightfully so because it is it does have a lot of very negative ramifications on our lives based on the kind of trauma that we go through we might have you know abandonment issues or physical and sexual abuse and you know, you know things that we don't want to talk about at parties or when other people are around and we don't want to open up to anybody besides maybe our therapist and our significant other and you know for the longest time i thought i coined that phrase and it turns out i haven't because i just started hearing celebrities i think like vince staples said it one time in an interview he's like yeah trauma is a spice of life man and like other people other celebrities have started saying it so like I, I can't take credit for coining that phrase i just i think trauma can be this amazing thing it, it can be transcendent it's this wonderful thing that you know while it does have a lot of negative ramifications on you it can also just unlock something within you it unlocks your maximum potential it unlocks this it, it can morph you into this different breed of a human being that you didn't know that you were it just trans you can transcend into this incredibly resilient powerful and just omnipotent person this organism that just is doing all these things that you didn't know you were even capable of it's like the mutants from x-men you know they, their mutant genes are unlocked they start out as normal people and then their mutant genes are unlocked when they're just subjected to extreme stress and pain and suffering and all of a sudden they have like wolverine claws and like they can run like the flash and shit, whatever they can control weather all that but like it, <laughs> And I'm not saying I believe in mutants, but th there's just something about trauma response and just building resi it There's something about when you go through these experiences that, you know, maybe not everyone can handle, but you find a way to adapt, improvise, adapt, and overcome. And I really think that the person that I am today, if I didn't have some of these experiences that I had in my younger years, like I, I just wouldn't be this person today. I wouldn't be able to credit this work ethic, this resilience, this adaptability. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. This emotional complexity that I have that I don't think I otherwise would have had if I just had this normal, like, ooh, all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies kind of childhood and, and past experiences. Like, there's just something about it. I'm, I'm grateful for trauma and I almost feel bad for people who don't have certain levels of trauma that affected them to where they can't be this, like, adaptable strong resilient person just i think like a lot of y'all don't really have maybe you don't have those experiences and and that's okay you can kind of build on yourself in other ways in other forms i really think that i have to credit a lot of my positive traits like resilience and adaptability and just like unrelenting work ethic and being comfortable outside of my comfort zone i think that's such an important part of life that a lot of people don't have a handle on and they they don't grasp it then maybe they don't even know what it means but i think comfort zone is like one of the most dangerous two-word phrases in this english language like i get sick to my stomach when i hear it because it's just something that it's it's so easy for us to to just be comfortable to just be complacent with the way our lives are going and just having a day-to-day -day routine that we never waver from and just every day is the same and we never kind of take risks we never get out of our comfort zone and try things we've never tried before and kind of push the envelope and try to be a, a stronger more intelligent or just more creative version of ourselves because we just get locked in that comfort zone and i feel like you know in in addition to being resilient and adaptable i think trauma helps build that we're able to be people that we otherwise wouldn't be we you, you feel like this otherworldly form and it just seems like when you experience trauma and negative experiences and you come out the other end, when you're pushed to your absolute limit and your back's against the ropes and you think all all hope is lost and then all of a sudden you just find a way, you just activate the mutant gene, like I said, and you just become this amazingly powerful and adaptable person that you didn't know you could become. And then you come out the other side of it, it's just like you become... I, I don't know, you just become this otherworldly form that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to unlock. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And that doesn't get talked about enough. And, and yes, you might have to go to therapy. You might struggle in relationships and interpersonal friendships and relationships like I do. You might not be able to sleep at night. 
And yeah, there's negative, like I said, there's going to be negative aspects to it, but you, are you going to dwell on that or are you going to look on the positive side and on the bright side of things and see and become this person, you know, that's more powerful, more adaptable, is never going to quit, is never going to give up, is always going to be trying new things, is always going to be pushing the envelope and becoming a, a better version of themselves. It's always every day, every morning when you wake up, you look in the mirror and you, while you brush your teeth and you're like, how am I going to be a better person? How am I going to seize these next 24 hours and just become this incredible version of myself that the person yesterday may not have even known was possible and i think trauma is like a building block in that and yeah it can have a lot of negative aspects of course but like why dwell on that and why let those negative aspects cloud everything else and just control your life i don't know maybe i'm not making sense maybe i'm just out in this 94 degree weather for no freaking reason or maybe maybe it's just my trauma and I just feel like I'm built different, that I'm here in my element. This is like what I want to be doing right now. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why would I be outside? Or I could be at home in my wonderfully over air conditioned room, but I want to be outside in nature in this blazing sun, sweating my balls off and talking people's ears off on YouTube about stuff that maybe doesn't even matter, is, isn't even accurate. But this is, this is what I choose to do with my life. As long as you kind of make it out the other end of these negative experiences and these painful memories that you might have and all these like kind of triggers and trauma responses that you have on the other side of it you're just a, a more powerful human being you've unlocked the maximum potential version of yourself and i think that's a beautiful thing for those of y'all that are going through trauma and just kind of and coping and thinking that you know life's not fair life's dealt me a a bad hand and I don't know what to do with it I can, what's the point of playing the game I just think that you should look within yourself and realize that trauma is it's you might have had horrible experiences but it's built something beautiful you know I think God I think the man above he gives these egregious difficult missions to his, his greatest soldiers because he knows what they can accomplish he knows what they're capable of and I don't I don't know whether you're religious or not who what do you choose to believe in but take that out however you want that you are given this opportunity to evolve and to be this adaptable, resilient, powerful, just like almost omnipotent person, this human being that otherwise wouldn't have existed if you didn't have the, the trauma and all these personal experiences. You could have just been someone who is is existing but not living. You're just kind of going through the motions in this life and just, you know, relaxing in the comfort zone and just going with the flow. To this day, I think the greatest advice I ever received was from my opa, my grandpa, and I, I don't even think he remembers saying this to me. And English was a second language, so like I don't even know if he really was meant it as articulately as he did. But I remember one time when I was a little kid, I was somewhere in grade school, and he was asking me what I was gonna do that day, and I just said, I don't know, I'm just gonna go with the flow. And he said, Andrew, you know what kind of fish just goes with the flow a dead fish and then he just laughed in my face and I was just so confused I just thought he was completely off his rocker and just kind of making some silly joke and then over the years I really have had time to ruminate on what he said and just kind of apply it to life and like experiences that I've had and I realized that you know he really did mean it like if you're if you're just constantly going with the flow if you're just constantly taking the path of least resistance if you're constantly just taking or letting external elements control your life and like other people and just like the other people telling you what to do or conforming to what other people think you should do or what society is telling you to do or what your family is telling you to do because they want you to live life for them you know you're basically a dead fish you might as well just be this organism that's like you're not alive you're just kind of existing as this mass of cells and muscle fibers it's just like you got to be able to take life and go through these experiences and adapt and evolve and become a better version of yourself and get out of your comfort zone and you know become a yeah just become more intelligent more powerful more adaptable more capable in this life and again i think trauma is a building block to that or it's a major force that kind of gets us to where we need to be i look back and there's so many instances in my life where it's like would i really have been able to get through this or be as successful as i am now if i didn't have trauma and negative experiences and just growth building opportunities to attribute it to like when i was when i was in grad school for two years and i was working full time like the that was two of the hardest years of my life and i look back and like and you know i had friends that were asking me like i like how did you do it i don't understand how you did it you had like every 
minute of I had every minute of every day was preoccupied with just work, 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 work. And there were some days where I would literally like tear up and cry and like punch a wall and be throwing things and just like cussing at inanimate objects. I was like, I how am I gonna get through this? And like how am I gonna get through this experience? Do I really have what it takes? I felt like quitting so bad. I felt like dropping out. I felt like taking like a month or two to just like quit my job and go on sabbatical and just like and just drop out of the, the program that I was in because I didn't think I was cut out for it you know there were experiences like that there, I've had like near-death experiences like the I, I don't know maybe y'all have seen my video where I made a horribly stupid unintelligent decision to go on a, a solo backpacking trip in, in the lower Colorado River almost killed myself two times on that trip I almost had heat stroke I almost got stung by a scorpion I almost fell off a sheer cliff face you know when I was doing a boulder scramble and like trying to rock climb down with my 40 pound pack on and I almost collapsed from heat stroke too on the way up and I spent the night in the dirt on the side of like a sheer cliff it was a, one of the worst nights of my life but you know I got through it I just reached within myself to this level of strength and adaptability and resilience that I didn't know I had but my back was against the wall and I'm like you know what I need to get out of this place alive I need to get out of this canyon gorge I need to get up this cliff face alive and I just summoned this like mutant breed of myself that I didn't know I had. I, I have no idea how I made it out of there. Another time when I was in Panama, when I was in the middle of the jungle, when I was still in high school, I was 17 at the time. And I went on this uh, cultural immersion program, volunteer service program, I guess you would call it, where I was stayed in this rural community in the jungle in the middle of Panama. And I stayed with this host family and there was no running water. There was no potable water, really. There's no electricity. We're just in the middle of the jungle. We were in the cut and I just had stayed with my host family. I barely spoke any Spanish at the time. So I was just, it was a struggle to communicate with people. I got super sick. I got like some horrible, horrible case of, of dengue fever or, or some uh, yellow fever, typhoid. I have no clue what it was, but this thing absolutely tore my body apart. And I was bedridden for a couple of days. I was throwing up blood and bile. It was absolutely horrendous. I felt like every organ in my body was just like failing and giving up on me. And I, it, for the first time in my life, I felt like I was gonna die. I literally felt like I was gonna die in the jungle alone at age 17. And there was no one around me who could even speak English or really communicate with me effectively. And it, just, it effectively just felt like I was alone. I'm like, this is how my life is gonna end. And somehow I summoned the strength to be like, you, you know, you're gonna get out of this somehow, some way you're gonna get out of this alive. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but you know, some guardian angel is gonna send something your way. My partner, who was the only other person in my community who would speak English, cause he was from America as well. Uh, he came down and he was able to visit me. He was able to find the only person in my community who had a cell phone. And I still don't even understand why this dude had a cell phone. I think it was just kind of like an emergency protocol that somebody in the community had to have one. And this thing barely worked. And apparently he spent an entire day, like maybe 15 hours, just going around the community trying to find the guy who had a phone or had a cellular device. And then he had to hike out to this like mountain that was kind of, that was miles away from, you know, where my host family lived just so we could get like a bar of service, call and contact our uh, route leader, who was kind of the person who was stationed to make sure we were doing okay in the community and make sure things like that didn't happen in the first place. Uh, he was able to contact my route leader. She was able to contact, go through this whole string of communication, get like a, a bus to come out to this village, pick me up, take me to the nearest medical facility, which was like the better part. I remember it picked me up and it took the better part of a day just to drive to this like, this janky ass and medical facility in the middle of nowhere like this place was not a hospital i'm not calling this place a hospital but they did have you know like medical medical professionals or maybe like doctors without borders or people I, I was like damn near hallucinating by the time i got to this facility but you know i got there i'm grateful that i got there some person saw me they prescribed me a bunch of antibiotics and drugs i'd never heard of and over the next week i was able to heal and you know get back to my former self and i really i was getting bit by mosquitoes like a hundred times a day at least like i i pretty much was sick or diseased the entire time i spent in that in panama in that community but i'm grateful for it somehow i made it through i made it through that experience and i'm just forever grateful and it's like every 24 hours that i continue to live i just i'm eternally grateful to have this opportunity to just seize life and, and be able to, to live and just be who i am and I just, I, again, I have my trauma to credit for that. I just truly don't think that I would 
be as adaptable and resilient and have this work ethic and this hunger for more and this hunger to build myself as a human being and this connection that I, I have with people in interpersonal relationships and I don't think I would have this if it wasn't for my trauma and these experiences that absolutely pushed me to the, the core of my being that just had me absolutely down and out thinking you know ready to give up all hope another amazing thing is like we all know about trauma bonding and the way that you can kind of form these unspoken relationships with people that have had similar trauma or similar experiences as you maybe you know it's almost like a it's this unspoken connection that exists like maybe when you first meet someone or you just have like a very brief conversation with someone or you just look in their eyes and you experience emotions that they're experiencing it's like you can almost it's like a sixth sense you can tell like who's been through certain experiences and who has trauma and has adapted to it in a similar fashion that you have i've never been like an overly spiritual like divine energy sort of person i honestly i used to be very averse to that i didn't believe in that stuff at all but you know over the years and when i've, I've gone through certain experiences and connected with people over similar experiences and just kind of understood the flow of energy in interpersonal relationships and between human beings I've kind of grown to understand that th there is just like this unspoken spiritual energy and this divine energy that certain people have in this life and it's just it's people that have that share similar experiences as you and have evolved and adapted and become more resilient and powerful and, and intelligent through these experiences and you can see it right away it's almost like something that it's just like this gift like this sixth sense this mutant ability that like god is or somebody has bestowed upon you and it, I, I don't really know how to explain it but somehow i can just kind of like pick out people in this life that you know when i go to parties or social events or just like i don't know back when i was in college and just was meeting a lot of people you could distinguish like what people you had a, an instant divine connection with and you had similar experiences as you and it, i'm not saying you just like out people like oh you got molested too or you got like <laughs> You have abandonment issues too and you've been throughout you have like near-death experiences just like me no it's just you know people experience trauma in different ways and i don't know i think that connect that unspoken connection that you have is is formed it's just kind of refined through these through the emotional connection that you have with someone who's experienced the same, similar things as you but it's this unspoken connection and i think it's a beautiful thing i think it's something that you share with somebody and it's it's a reminder to yourself that hey i've made it through these negative experiences but other people have kind of gone through the same thing and they're you know they're not sitting here dwelling on like oh well life is unfair life dealt me a bad hand life has given me all these like poor unjust experiences it's like yeah it's an opportunity to grow like anything that you go through you grow through and you truly are getting this opportunity to expand on your knowledge and your capabilities and your evolution as a human being and i think that's a beautiful thing and i don't think that we should you know constantly go through this life and think like oh trauma is this horrible horrible egregious thing and like we, we should never have it we should prevent people from having trauma it's like life is gonna life is a roller coaster it's gonna put you through the ringer it's gonna put you through all kinds of experiences it might even push you to your absolute you know last to the last fiber of your being with every last breath you have to fight it but you, you'll find a way to pull through and on the other end you'll be an amazing person so don't think oh well you know i have these experiences and it forces me to have trouble sleeping at night i have insomnia i have trouble being in relationships and interpersonal connections with people you know that's just a part of life but it's a part of growth and evolution as well i think it's a, it's a beautiful thing we can see beauty in it we can see growth and we can see evolution and you're a better person for it anyways yeah thank you for coming to my ted talk uh it's about 95 degrees outside i'm sweating through my cotton fibers here but you know just again just wanted to kind of vent and articulate my thoughts on here i don't really know where this youtube channel is going but i just you know i'm passionate about making these videos i want to put myself out there so feel free to com like comment whatever you want uh or comment what kind of videos you want to see me do in the future i would love to hear your feedback and then that's all love y'all keep evolving keep striving for greatness and don't run from your trauma